The politics are taking place in the state of Bihar and believe you me, there is a sizable chunk of it. Uh, with what we are being told right now, massive suspense building over on where Mitish Kumar and the JDU will move next. What we have been given to understand, hectic parlays on in both JDU and the RJD camp. Key RJD meet right now at uh, Rabri Devi's residence. JDU's top leaders are also meeting Mitish Kumar. BJP LOP in Bihar, Vijay Sinha, has now been summoned to Delhi. Home Minister Amit Shah being apprised of the entire Bihar political crisis. I want to immediately cut across to our reporters, Himanshu as well as Rohit Singh, who are both joining us live. Himanshu, uh, you know, coming to you next, but Rohit, to bring you in, get us up to speed with all that is going on in the state of Bihar. It's a political chessboard of sorts where Nitish plotting his move and then the RJD trying to counter it. Who comes first is the big question, isn't it? Well, Preeti, uh, now it's, uh, it looks certain that the next 48 hours are extremely, extremely crucial for uh, the Bihar government, especially the Mahagathabandhan and Bihar politics. Because, see, today there was hectic uh, meetings that took place both at uh, Nitish Kumar's residence as well as Rabri Devi's residence. But uh, now we believe that just because it's tomorrow it's a Republic Day celebration that is going to take place, so not much active political activity expected from here on till tomorrow. But next 48 hours, as we are telling, very, very crucial because uh, it uh, appears now that uh, the alliance, that's the Mahagathabandhan alliance, has reached a point of no return. That means the difference between Nitish Kumar and Lalu Prasad. After those uh, series of posts by Rohini Achare, it seems that Nitish Kumar is extremely, extremely miffed and it was like a final nail in the coffin. And uh, in the next 48 hours, it could well be decided whether Nitish Kumar will quit RJD or not, whether he will return back to the NDA or whether the third option, what we are saying is that he can dissolve the assembly. So all that are possibilities that will un uh, uncover we can in the next 48 hours. But yes, this difference mm -hmm. between RJD and JDU, now it's very much out in the open. And today from the RJD side, what we are learning is that Shivanand Tiwari, the senior leader, tried to damage control, calling Nitish right. Kumar as the leader of the Mahagat Bandhan, under whose leadership they, they will fight elections against BJP in the Lok Sabha. But I think the damage has be already been done, and it's just about matters of about one or two days that Nitish Kumar could take the final call on snapping ties with the RJD and then taking his next political move. You know, before I cut across to Himanshu, Rohit, one quick question again. Um, if he dissolves the assembly, that would mean, in all probabilities, elections for Bihar will take place alongside Lok Sabha elections. But the second question, in midst of all of this, is there also what is going on behind the scenes with the RJD? Are they trying to cobble up numbers to maybe stake claim before any move is made by Nitish Kumar? Kriti, let me answer your second question first. As far as the number game is concerned, uh, RJD plus Congress, plus left, we, and we are talking about uh, without JDU, they have 115 uh, right now. So they need another 7 to 8 to reach to that magical figure of 122. So they are well short of uh, the majority mark, but what we are learning that they are in touch with few of the floating legislators. We will not like to take their names right now, but there are at least six legislators which are in a floating condition. And if they also come with RJD, then that number goes up to 120. Still too short of the majority mark. So Nitish Kumar knows that Lalu Prasad is trying to cobble up numbers. Calculation is going on. And just to avoid anything that could hamper him, Nitish Kumar could choose the option of dissolving the assembly. And as far as Nitish Kumar's re-entry into India is concerned, I think... In, in NDA, he can be taken back. He can uh, re-enter NDA, but uh, BJP is... Rohit, let's find that out. Right. That Rohit, Rohit let's, bring in, let's bring in Himanshu and pose that question to him. Himanshu, <coughs> at one end, this is the fact that the government of Bihar and the government of JDU and RJD are the only two camps that 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 are the इसमें भाजपा का क्या रोल है भाजपा क्या कर रही है क्योंकि सुनने में यह भी आया है कि नीतीश कुमार की कंडीशन है 
कि अगर असेंबली डिजोल्व होती है और अगर एनडीए के साथ वो वापस आते हैं जो लोकसभा के साथ अगर चुनाव होते हैं तो सीएम वही होंगे क्या ये कंडीशन मंजूर है बीजेपी को देखिए मुझे नहीं लगता कि बीजेपी ये कंडीशन मंजूर करेगी कि असेंबली को डिसॉल्व किया जाए और उसके बाद जो फ्रेश इलेक्शन हो प्रीति और उस फ्रेश इलेक्शन के अंदर जो है वो नीतीश कुमार को मुख्यमंत्री के तौर पर पेश किया जाए तो उससे बेहतर कंडीशन तो यही होगी कि नीतीश कुमार आए और वो मुख्यमंत्री बन जाए इसीलिए डिजोल्व वाला कहानी थोड़ा सा मुझे लगता है अभी उस पर सस्पेंस है और सस्पेंस क्लियर होगा आ, सही बात है नेक्स्ट फोर्टी एट आवर्स के अंदर लेकिन इतना जरूर है कि नीतीश कुमार जरूर चाहेंगे कि मुख्यमंत्री वो बने और भारतीय जनता पार्टी की कोशिश है कि नीतीश कुमार की जगह जो है भारतीय जनता पार्टी का कोई चेहरा वो मुख्यमंत्री बन जाए जो सपना भारतीय जनता पार्टी का बहुत लंबे समय से ये कहें कि कई दशकों से है नीतीश कुमार के पास बहुमत तो नहीं है लेकिन वो उनके पास मुख्यमंत्री पद की जो कुर्स चाबी है वो जरूर है और ऐसी चाबी है कि अगर वो आरजेडी के साथ है तो मुख्यमंत्री है अगर वो बीजेपी के साथ जाना चाहे तो भी मुख्यमंत्री है बीजेपी इस चीज को बहुत भली भांति समझती है और अगर ये सब कुछ हो रहा है तो लोकसभा चुनाव में क्योंकि भारतीय जनता पार्टी को इस बात के फिलर्स हैं कि महागठबंधन जो है इंडिया ब्लॉक जो है वो ज्यादा मजबूत है जमीन पर अगर चुनाव में गए तो नुकसान भारतीय जनता पार्टी को होगा और इसीलिए अगर नीतीश कुमार को लाया जाए तो वो बिहार के अंदर जो पुराना एक 19 का रिकॉर्ड है उसी रिकॉर्ड को कायम रख सकते हैं यानी कि चालीस में से उनतालीस लोकसभा सीटें नीतीश कुमार अगर दोबारा मुख्यमंत्री के पद के दावेदार बनते हैं विधानसभा भंग होने पर तो उसको लेकर मुझे लगता है कि वो नहीं चाहेंगे कि इस तरीके की कंडीशन हो क्योंकि पिछली बार जब 2020 में ये चुनाव हुए थे चिराग पासवान एनडीए छोड़ के गए और उन्होंने अपने सारे उम्मीदवार जो है वो जेडीयू के खिलाफ उतारे थे और उससे जेडीयू को भारी नुकसान हुआ था उपेंद्र कुशवाहा भी अलग थे तो ऐसे में अगर नीतीश कुमार आते हैं सीटों को शेयरिंग को लेकर यहाँ पे चिराग पासवान भी है उपेंद्र कुशवाहा भी है जीतन राम माझी है पशुपति पारस है चार छोटे दल है उनका सीट एडजस्टमेंट कैसे होगा ये एक बड़ा सवाल है कौन किसको कैसे एडजस्ट करेगा तो कहीं ना कहीं नीतीश कुमार ये नहीं चाहेंगे कि चिराग पासवान एनडीए में रहे उपेंद्र कुशवाहा रहे या जीतन राम माझी रहे तो अगर ऐसा अभी मैंने कहा ना अड़तालीस घंटे में साफ हो जाएगा तो मतलब संडे तक थोड़ा पिक्चर वोट संडे मंडे तक पिक्चर क्लियर होगी संडे मंडे तक पिक्चर क्लियर होगी हिमांशु दो दिन का समय लगेगा पिक्चर क्लियर होने में लेकिन विजय चौधरी जो बड़े करीबी हैं नीतीश कुमार के उन्होंने भी बयान दिया है कि सरकार में सब कुछ ठीक है केसी त्यागी बोल रहे हैं लेकिन नीतीश कुमार के मन में क्या है ये कोई नहीं जानता है फैसला नीतीश कुमार को लेना है और नीतीश कुमार के साथ ही पार्टी खड़ी है जब ललन सिंह को पार्टी के अध्यक्ष पद से हटाया गया था तो यही कहा गया था कि नीतीश कुमार ने जो फैसला लिया है पूरी पार्टी उनके साथ है और नीतीश कुमार जहां जाएंगे पार्टी उन्हीं के साथ जाएगी जी पर यहाँ पर थोड़ा उल्टा भी हो रहा है ना जो चाहे उसमें रोहित ऐड कर सकते हैं कि रोहित के जो एम हैं जेडीयू के वो शायद भाजपा की ओर निकलना चाह रहे हैं तो नीतीश कुमार थोड़े विश्वास उससे भी हैं करेक्ट रोहित एब्सोल्युटली सी मोस्ट ऑफ द जेडीयू एम पी प्रीति इन 2019 Uh, out of the 60 most of them had defeated rjd candidate and then they became right. uh, members of parliament so it is uh, very much certain that there is a tussle of uh, seat sharing between jdu and rjd because uh, now jdu and rjd are together at this point of time right. when i'm uh, talking so there is a difference of seat uh, sharing that is going to take place because suppose that one place there is a jdu mp now rjd is putting uh, staking claim to that seat so there is right. a difference and that is why several jdu mps are also of the opinion that if they return back to the nda means with the bjp then it will be a safer option and they will be able to retain their seats also they will be getting their tickets right. also and they can retain their seats so also so that's one of the main so reasons that it seems, seems to be a most right. viable option viable option and because these mps want to move towards the bjp nitish kumar really doesn't have much choice because he's also on the verge of his party splitting otherwise